Right, so this is VIX. This is the VIX. And currently we are on the on the daily, daily time frame. So you realize that the VIX, uh, if we are looking at market structure as it is simply following market structure, you can see that here price was in an uptrend, forming higher highs, higher lows. But then began to shift to market structure, forming lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, uh, and lower lows like that. So from there, this was the lower. This is a lower low, right? So according to market structure, what we are seeing right now, we are still in a bearish, bearish market. According to the higher time frame, which is the daily, we are still in a in a bear market, we're still in a bearish market. And here, if you check here as well, where price bounced, where price bounced, it was actually a, a level of resistance. This area there, that area there was a very key area, respected, 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 respected. So basically this was a resistance. This was also a resistance. There was also a resistance, a resistance there. So one could have drawn their resistance like that. That's a resistance there. So that being a resistance, if you check, uh, we actually have been in buys the past uh, two days, people have been buying, especially in the private groups, people have been buying. So the buy that we actually took was based on this major trend line that we have on a daily number one. Number two, it was also based on a shift in market structure on lower time frames. A shift in market structure on lower time frames. So a shift in market structure on lower time frames was, was actually also a determining factor to tell us to now start buying on those lower time frames. So here we are. Right, so this is the trend line. Touch there, touch there. Went all the way. So this way price was now at uh, the past two days, price was now on our trend line. So this trend line has been acting as a major support. This is actually a support. It's actually a support, that trend line. You can actually look at it as a support. It's actually a level of support. So long the market is above it, it's acting as a support. It will be acting as a what? A support. So so it will be acting as a support. So that trend line, in simple terms, is a support. Price came to a major support. After reaching a major support, then bounced today. But overall, on the daily, we are still seeing the what the bearish market structure is still there. So here now, what has to happen in order for this thing to go up? It has to come and fail to make a lower low. Because this is a lower low. For market structure to shift, either it has to form and respect the same law, giving us a double bottom. Once we get the double bottom, then it comes and breaks this lower high. Then now, once you see a lower high being broken, like they once you see a lower high being broken, uh, like that, this will now be a fully confirmed long term buying opportunity. A fully confirmed long term buying opportunity because market structure on the daily would have shifted. And when you see market structure shifting on a high time frame, it means now the trend is now shifted for the long term. 
of which if that does not happen, market can even continue with its bearish nature. Because according to the daily, market structure is still bearish. Market structure is still bearish. Market structure, we are still bearish. So, so uh, that is what we're currently, so this is the bottom support. Every support has to be accompanied by a resistance. The resistance will be at the top there. You touch the tops, first touch, second touch, it makes a resistance. So another channel that we can also identify on the daily is somewhere, somewhere on this channel and also a bottom channel, a bottom channel, top channel, top trend line of the channel and the bottom trend line of the channel. So like this, so here, if you check, one could have entered immediately upon this touch here that happened here. One could have started buying, one could have started buying them. So what we now look out for now is a change, a shift in market structure on the daily. We want to see it, we want to see it happening. What we simply mean by a shift in market structure is this whereby price was falling, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower low, that's a lower high there, lower low here, lower high this area, lower low. Now it came back to this lower high. After breaking the lower high, that's a shift in market structure. Check what happened after breaking the lower high. Price shot all the way to the upside. Same as here. Same highs, same highs. After this low, this higher low was broken, making a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So this is the lower high now. This lower high, once broken, check what happened. Went, retested, shot all the way to the upside. This was the shift in market structure here. This was the shift here. Uh, on this, on this example, let's also look for a shift in market structure. Low highs, low lows, low highs, low low. Somewhere, somewhere here, shift in market structure happened. Check what happened. So same, same thing now where price is currently. We are saying we've been downtrending. Low highs, low lows, low highs, low low. Low highs and lower lows, lower low there. So we want that shift to happen. If it comes there, comes here, respects the support, goes back. If you see it breaking this lower high, once you see it breaking this lower high, the market structure is already shifted. And once you see market structure shifting on the daily, know that serious long term moves are now going to start happening. So right now, that is what we are currently looking at. Price is simply going back to where it started buying. If it fails to break lower than that, it will give us some possible initial buying opportunities. Then the next ones will get them after the break of the what? Of the lower high, which will now be a full confirmation for, for the market pushing up. Once you see the lower high being broken, know that there's been now a shift in market structure. But lower time frames already they shifted market structure, which were the ones that guided us on the on the on the, on the early opportunities that we took. The smaller time frames also shifted market structure, uh, which gave us the opportunities that we saw. So now, once we get that shift in market structure on a higher time frame, like the daily, once we get that, it will simply be a chance to to enter again, to enter again our buys, to enter our buys again, then we, we see how far it goes. Is it going to break that lower high? So the break of that lower high, it's a very, very key break, this one. That's a lower high on a day.
that's a lower high on a daily time frame, right? So once you see a lower high being broken, know that um, know that market structure has shifted, and most probably, uh, most probably price is not going to hold longer in the particular direction that it would have chosen. So, so on small time frames, if you check from the four hour, four hour, one hour going lower, 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 market structure, already we can see a shift. Already we can see a shift in what? In market structure. Already we can see a shift in market structure. Already we can see the shift. So for our already, so this channel as well, the break of this channel, it also gave us the buying opportunities, the buying all the buying opportunities that you saw us taking and the signal that we also gave, we took it based upon the break, the break of that channel. The break of that channel gave us all the opportunities that you saw us taking. We took it, we took them based, based on that break of that channel. Do you understand me? Are we together? Yes, I understand. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So uh, that is how we took the buying opportunities that you saw us taking. We, we took them based on that breakout that happened on lower time frames. We took it, we took some buys. We took some buys based on that. So now, now this this is the downward channel. As you saw, the bearish market that price is moving it on a daily time frame. Uh, this is still is still there, but now we broke out of this one now. So this one now as well was maintaining the downward move. If you remember, we took some sales as well around this area where there was a breakout. We also took some sales. We also took sales from the key level, which was that area. Then the next sales, we took them based on a breakout again. This was the breakout, breakout richest. We took sales there as well. So sales, we took them based on breakout. Same as the buys, we took them based on the breakout as well. So uh, the market is always going to repeat uh, patterns over and over and over and over again because um, human beings uh, are always going to behave in the same way. Human beings are going to behave in the same way. So long they're still human beings, they're still going to continuously behave in a similar way, in a similar way. So this was the downward channel that gave us the bias two buys, one, two, three, four, almost two days. These buys, they lasted almost two days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost two days of holding, holding buys in your favor. Two days of holding, two days of holding, two days of holding trades in your favor. So, um, so uh, here we can also put a level of resistance there, just like that. So price came close to the resistance, then boom, went down. So now we, we are now wanting to see how price is going to respond to this lower low here. This is also a lower low according to a what? To a four hour time frame. The daily is saying the same, four hours saying the same. That's a lower low. So on this lower low now, when you see price failing to because if ever price is going to continue being bearish, okay? If price is going to continue being bearish, it has to also maintain, 
maintain uh, the, the bearish market structure. If price is going to continue being bearish, just to continue maintaining the bearish market structure. So, so um, either price can come back to this law, fail to break the law, give us a double bottom, then we go. That can happen unless it comes, breaks the law, continues, continues selling. It's also possible for price to continue with the particular trend or the particular market structure that it, 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 it was moving in with. So that is a possibility, that is a possibility. So we also mark that zone as a significant zone. Once you see price coming to that zone, know that the time has come now to see, is price going to reject there? Is price going to reject there or is going to break? That is something that we are also looking forward to. Something that we're currently looking forward to. So if you check according to Fibonacci as well, price bounds on the 50% Fib because we are still bearish on this high time frame. We're still bearish. Responded price respected the 50% Fib. So here on the 0%, if it fails to break the 0%, that's when we can take buys as well, because that would be a double bottom. Then we go back to the slower high. Once that one is broken, we can take more buys. And now we now know that we can hold longer to the top of the channel there. To the top of this downward channel, that would be our first target. So we're expecting something like this. Something like this. Either that, to happen, the worst case scenario is for price to come and break the slow and continue going long and continue going. Another third possible scenario is for price to come and break that law, make a head, make a head, go back inside, head and shoulder. Then you go. So that being a head and shoulder, this will be your neckline, which is the area that we want price to break. Once it breaks that one, we know that we are going to hold longer our buys. So either we're going to get a head and shoulder or a double bottom, we're simply going to enter. We're simply going to enter our buys without any fear. So that is what we're currently looking at. That is what That is what we are currently looking at for the for the VIX for the VIX. That is what we are currently looking at for the VIX. So someone might ask, um, since we are still in a bearish market on a high time frame, is it possible to also take advantage of selling opportunities on small time frames? It's very possible and it's allowed because overall market structure is still what is still it's still a a bearish market on a higher time from perspective. It's still a bearish market and it can maintain that for a while. So this is also another area here. So on this on this one now, the interesting thing about what we are seeing on the four hour is that this area here, this is a lower high, lower low, broke the lower high, which is good for us made a high high. So high high then. Lower high there. So is, is price going to come back up then go? That can happen as well. Or it will simply come back down here and respect the, the law then go. That can also happen. So all those scenarios were already prepared mentally. Mentally, we're already prepared for them. We are prepared already. Mentally, we are already prepared for, for all those scenarios. Mentally, we are already prepared for, what? for all those scenarios. So anyone with a question so far?
on what we have spoken. Anyone with a question on what we have covered so far? Well, if you allow me, if you allow me um, well, I can see that you just um, on the rebound there, rebound at um, the resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, do we, do we take um, trades uh, based on the higher time frame or we go and look maybe for Ws or any other objection in the lower time frames? Okay, beautiful question. That's, that's, a, that's a, a, a very good question. So if ever you're only looking at a, at a, the higher time frames are good for analyzing because they don't have as much noise that is there on, on lower time frames. High time frames are very good when it comes to analysis. When it comes to entries now, the lower time frames are very good for that because they give you a, a low risk compared to reward. Low risk compared to reward, which is what we always want in order for us to realize maximum profitability in trading. We always want situations where we risk less in order to what to win more so those are the situations that we want every time those are the scenarios that we we want all the time so uh right now i'm on the one hour so on the one hour now my best the best time frame that we use for entries especially earlier entries is always the uh, the what do you call this the 15 minute the 15 minute is always good for the first initial entries and entries 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 so 15 minute i think i actually saw this break to the downside i actually had a trend line as well so what happened the past two days what has been happening was price broke out here, which is which is where we entered. We started entering our buys there. That's where we entered our first first buys. Then now uh, price went short up impulsively, then began to correct, 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 going to the upside. Began to correct like that. That was a correction. This whole was a correction, but corrective continuation, corrective continuation. So after the corrective continuation, we actually also saw something like, um, we also saw something like this. We also saw something like this. Respect, respect. Then here broke out, went back in, then broke out, retested, then continued. This was also another good entry point. Then after that, after that, after that, one can even draw a trend line here from the bottom. This was also going to guide you. So this trend line at the bottom was going to guide you, especially for knowing when to come out of the buys. So long the trend line, so long the market is above the trend line, you know that all my buys are still safe. When you see something like this happen, your trend line being, being broken, the one that is guiding all your buy trades, those, those are moments where you need to watch to come out. So that's also another level there. Right. So this first channel, second channel, second channel gave us entries as well, break, retest, one could have entered it like that. So after that now, price, uh, so the first, first breakout that I saw was this one. Whereby I had this trend line touching like there. 
that was the earlier, earlier. So meaning one could have closed their buys earlier just by looking at that trend line. One could have came out all of out of all their buys here. Break retest. You would have even closed the buys, then started selling. Because according to a higher time, the market structure hasn't shifted to be bullish. According to the daily, market structure is still bearish. According to the daily. So had you in mind all those things, one would have, would have never continued holding, anticipating that price is going to continue going high, high, high. Yet, according to the daily, market structure hasn't shifted to be bullish. Are we together? Yes. <laughs> okay, so everyone was buying. Everyone was buying from here. According to the daily, the market structure had not yet shifted to be bullish in as much as this buys happened. But market structure on the day on the daily market structure had not yet shifted to be bullish. Market structure on the daily, as we showed you, it's still bearish. And right now, price is almost going maybe to test the lower low on the daily time frame. Once that low is tested and price fails to break lower, that's where we can now say market structure has begun to shift. Market structure has now begun to shift on a what on a daily time frame. But so long it's maintained, uh, sales are going to be happening more. Like if you check that first one, you could have sold here, you could have sold. So now here, you now have also this area here, very key area there. So that key area broken. So right now, most probably it can give a retest, come there, break, go. I mean the break of this to this break here. Something like this can happen. Something like this can happen. Because I showed you already market structure on the daily on the four hour that it has to shift and become a bullish market structure according also, uh, just like what the smaller time frames did, whereby they shifted their 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 market structure shifted, lower high, lower low, lower high, but here never came to make a lower low. Actually, made a higher low, higher low breaking the lower high. After the lower high was broken, our entries, our entries, they actually started. Uh, yeah, that's where we got our entries. After the lower high was broken, broken and retested with entered of buys because the low high has been broken. Same thing that we're expecting to happen on the daily, we're expecting a shift in market structure. Once that shift in market structure happens on a daily now, those buys are going to hold longer than these ones. Because these ones, they happened based on a lower time frame shift in market structure. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So the shift in market structure that you show happening on the smaller time frames, it now has to happen now on a bigger time frame. Once you see it happening on a bigger time frame, know that those buys are going to hold longer than these ones that happened just based on a shift in market structure of a lower time frame. So now we're expecting price to come maybe bounce there. Once it bounces there, then here we also have this mini channel here, mini trend line there. Once this trend line is broken as well, it can give some selling opportunities up until price gets to the bottom where all things started, where all things began. At the bottom there where things began. So, 
we expect to see uh, some rejections there. If ever, the, the, if ever you see price breaking the level on a on a daily time frame, for example, I showed you there are two possible scenarios there. Two possible scenarios. First scenario, price making a double bottom on the daily, or a price breaking that low, going to make a lower low, but actually making an inverted head and shoulder. Because an inverted head and shoulder is like this. We have a low there. Then price pushes up. Price pushes up. Goes to break this low, like this. Make a lower low come back inside, go back and maintain the same highs. Come back, respect here. So it's respecting there, it's simply making what a higher low because it's higher than this one. Once you see this shift happening, this one and this one, here, this is how you trade a head and shoulder actually. Once you see this shift happening, whereby you have a lower low, right? Lower low, but that this low is higher than this one. So that's a higher low, meaning already market structure will begin to shift here. One can even enter the, their initial buys there on the right shoulder. Their first target being the neckline. Once you see the neckline being broken, which is this level here, because it would now be a level of resistance. Once you see that one being broken, you can enter because it's also the break of a lower high. Well, this whole zone is the same high, which is which was a lower high. Once you see that one being broken, you enter. Then you go all the way. Targets, you use what we have been talking about. So that is what we're currently looking at on the daily. Right now, many people, they actually are expecting only one scenario. Those are people who, who are still uh, like the, 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 the experience on the VIX, it might still be limited because they are simply expecting price to come and bounce there on that support. That is a common thing. This is very common, it's too common. It's too easy, it's too common. It's too, too, too common. It's a, it's a common scenario. That is why if we see price rejecting here and you don't take such a trade after the rejection, something somewhere somewhere will be wrong with you something somewhere somewhere will be wrong with you because such common entries we don't expect anyone to miss so that one now as well if you see price the way it's going down it will also be it will also be having a trend line like this this can also guide you for the buys that you enter if price rejects them There we go. So there, on that trend line, one can even sell the VIX. One can even sell the VIX on that trend line. One can even sell the VIX on this trend line because it might fail to go there. It might fail to go there, or you can wait for this break. Once the break happens, break reaches, you enter again. Then all the way. Then once you see this channel being broken, simply opportunity for what? For our buys now, we are simply buying now at the same, almost same level that we bought the first buys, which are here. Are we together? Yes, Mama. 